go to layer, add layer, add raster layer, press this button, share your NDVI image, add a layer, close, if you want, add a map, now, we are going to give one pseudo color to this NDVI image. Double click to this layer. Go to type of renderizer. Select pseudo color monoband. Here you can choose any false colors, for example, spectral or greens. More usually, more usually is use greens. You can see here that there are five classes of colors. If you want less classes or more classes, just add quantity and increase the number of classes. But for is enough five classes. Uh, quantil or continuous. In some cases you will use quantil because you will have more than five classes. But for me it's enough continue by the moment. Three, four, five classes. Add, apply a sec and, on, and now here is the NDVI. But you can see here that there are three, six, nine, ten classes. I'm going to decrease the number of classes, changing to to quantile and reducing it to five classes. Because I want to export this image, you can see here. If you want more classes, just change it. Oh, sorry. The app, the QGIS app was closed. But now I'm going to show you one tool to do a profile of your NDVI. Again, I will apply one color, false color, for example, spectre or greens. I will use anyways, continuous. Okay, you can see there are three five classes you can. Make a capture of this image and paste in Pine or any another tool, and you just copy these values, and you can add a leg as a legend here. These are uh, some pixels with the higher values and lower values. Um, but this is not it. This is not the mean. The mean of the log. If you want the mean, you need to run some Python code to get the mean of this polygon. Now, as I say later, I will use one complement to compute one prof, uh, prof, profile of this NDVI. Go to complements, manage your complements, and then here share profile tool. Install this complement. I have installed it before. 
when you have when you install it you will have this icon here open this icon and then click over the layer that you want to add and click here add layer now you have the layer added here now you need to only press from here to here for example and here you you have a profile of your NDVI. You can see here in this line we have a max value of 0 0.43. Here it is. You can see I move here and this polygon is moving. You can check some different values. The J axis is the value. And here we have a table of all these values in this horizontal line. Click right click and the line will disappear. You can do a profile from here. Go to profile and you can inspect here the different values of NDVI. You can see here, you can see, you can see here in this area, in this area. In this area is more NDVI uh, values. There is more activity photosynthetic biomass, biomass photosynthetic mass. You can see here. And uh, see if we if I add one line from here to here, you see you can see here in or in, in a descending order the values. Maybe this terrain is independent. Pendiente. Independiente es esto. Is of this way. This is a pendant. Is a earring. Earring. A earring is a slope. This is a earring. Maybe here there is a earring because here you can see here in this area, in this area here, there are more higher values of NDVI, and it we and it is going decreasing to lower values. Maybe this crop is over a uh, earring as uh, here the water uh, the water is in the lower in the higher zones areas in the higher areas and in the lower areas is less water arriving to the crops okay bro this that's it i hope that this tutorial was useful for you and you have so you have learned something in this video that's it See you in another video.